My name is Brandon, and I am 51 years old. I have always believed that love knows no age, which is why a few years ago, I fell in love with Sally, who is 21 years younger than me. We had a beautiful child, a testament to our love. For many years, I worked tirelessly to provide for my family, to give them the best I had to offer. Sally and I built a life together, full of shared dreams and aspirations. I adored her, and she brought so much happiness into my world. However, life can be unpredictable, and sometimes it takes us where we never intended. My suspicions about my wife's infidelity did not arise immediately. They began as small, nagging doubts that gradually grew into something more substantial. It began when I noticed a change in Sally's behavior. She had always been affectionate and loving toward me, but now she had become increasingly distant. Our conversations became shorter and her laughter, which used to fill our house, became less frequent. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. One day I learned something that shattered my world. Sally had been unfaithful to me. The pain I felt was indescribable, and I couldn't bear the thought that the person I loved most in the world had betrayed me in such a way. It wasn't just the act itself, but the trust that had been broken. Sally was busy with the house and raising our son. One day I came across a babysitter's pay bill, which showed that almost every day after lunch, the babysitter was with our child. Then I remembered that Sally had become more demanding about her appearance and was spending more time taking care of herself. Although I always complimented her and genuinely thought she was the most beautiful, Sally was also very persistent in her request to get her a new car for her birthday. She explained that now she has to take her baby everywhere and the women in our neighborhood are always bragging about their wealth. And she felt uncomfortable of course, I gave Sally a car, and just a month later I saw a picture of her in that car with her lover. For their meetings, they had taken up a parking lot in the building next to my office. It took the detective less than a week to provide me with proof of her cheating, and the collapse of what I thought was a happy life. I made a difficult decision. I couldn't forgive her, and I couldn't go on living with her. I took the car I had given her, and Sally moved out of my house. The breakup was painful not only for me, but for our child as well. Sally tried to make amends in her own way. At first, she apologized ridiculously, saying that I spent too much time at work, that I didn't pay enough attention to her. Then she started saying I was too old for her, and she didn't feel on the same page with me. Then she started saying again that it was like some kind of blackout and she didn't understand how she could do that to me. Sally got a job at a roadside motel to support herself and occasionally came to visit our son. As time went on, her visits became less and less frequent. Then our son started calling the nanny mom. It was a stark reminder of what our life was like and how quickly things changed. I can't understand how this could have happened to me a second time. Ten years ago, I had a tough divorce from my first wife. But back then, there were also complicated courts because there was no prenuptial agreement in place. This time, the divorce paperwork was easy, child custody was not something Sally wanted. In her opinion, the child would interfere with her personal life so she was fine with seeing her son on weekends every other week, and she didn't always take advantage of this opportunity to spend time with the child. Over time, I focused on rebuilding my life. The wound slowly began to heal, but the scars remained. I missed the good times we had together, but realized I couldn't turn back time. Life had taken us down different paths.